Hello, I'm here in Jackson, Wyoming with my friend Eric and he is here to show us around his van today. So Eric, what kind of van do you have? It's a 2021 Ram Promaster. I uh, picked it up in January, built it out in February, lived out of it for a month, I fell off of a tow truck, uh, was being repaired for two months and I recently got it back. So. <laughs> wow. You want to take us uh, inside? Sure. For a peek? Yeah. All right. Uh, so first thing I think people notice when they uh, step in here is that I have this big box that's in the way. Um, the box is an idea I had that so far has been working out pretty well. Um, most of the time when you sit down in a van, your feet kind of dangle, especially when you're on the swivel seat over there. So the box just allows me to have a little extra storage where like I have my shoes and stuff underneath it. And uh, I can also like have three people sitting here all with their feet not like dangling yeah everybody nice. can put their feet on this box it's great yeah the, <laughs> the box really brings the van together <laughs> it's the focal point of the van yeah um <laughs> of course i got storage in all the obvious spaces like underneath these two seats like under here i've got a uh, five gallon tank and then my backpack that i uh use uh for like you know going to the gym and stuff like that and then behind the backpack actually there's kind of a hole there. You can see there's a dog mat that's sticking out of it. Mm -hmm. But that hole is a pass-through that goes all the way to the back of the van. So you could have like really long things in here, like a surfboard and stuff. That comes all the way up into this area that's if you wanted. I don't have a surfboard in here, but I you do have could. it. What's that? But you could. I could. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me get this dog mat out of the way. But um, my dog's not currently in the van with me. But uh, you can see the back wheel of my... Uh, bicycle or my mountain bike there and behind that is a 30 gallon tank uh, that's mounted forward of the wheel well so it's just like a standard um, tank just mounted vertically and I got those holes cut out in the uh, like the, the mounting um, mm -hmm. area just the so frame. that I can see what the water level is okay that's smart yeah and then that Thing there is my gray water tank <laughs> it's okay. very very small but that I just, is small <laughs> yeah so I just, cute Nobody ever suspects me though when I'm throwing it out. Yeah, know? exactly. So, uh, that works out well. Yep. Like most of the stuff's pretty standard. I guess the um, boot, like stereo system that I have, mm -hmm. uh, that's not super standard. Oh yeah, that's it's not, cool. It's nice to have a good sound system here. It's probably my favorite part of the van. I'm really happy with this table design here. Like this table uh, can basically swing from like, I could drive with it in between the two uh, oh, seats. Oh yeah. Uh, there. Um, you know, it almost works as a dinner table. It's like good enough. Yeah. So like two people can be sitting there in here. Um, and then when I want to stow it, I, what I don't like about other vans is that oftentimes when they have a table like this, they need to like put it somewhere, uh, when they're not driving or when they're driving. Mm -hmm. Um, but this, I just turn it around and it wedges into this corner here. And it can't really go anywhere. Oh, wow. I, I just built it so that it's like, uh, just like sticks right there, right? Wow. Um, it's like cammed in there. And then the driver's seat usually backs all the way up to here. Mm -hmm. It's like pushed forward right now. Okay. Um, and that's great. Yeah, that's good. Cause like, you know, when grease splatters and when I'm cooking and stuff, I don't want it to get on the cushions. I'd rather mm -hmm. it be on this. And this is a temporary table. Yeah. Um, this thing's kind of pales in comparison, like wood quality wise to <laughs> the walnut and stuff, yeah. which I'm really not treating very well. So what about this little cubby? Yeah, I, I had uh, aspirations for this cubby to be like useful and eventually I'll have like salt and stuff in there, but one of my mm -hmm. to-dos is to put something that like... like a bungee or something? Yeah, or like a dowel rod or something. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you get to your en the end of your van build and you're like so itchy to just yes. get on the road. Yes, that, you're so done. <laughs> yeah, like stuff like... I mean, you'll see things all over the place, like trim work that still needs to be done. Like, mm. I'll show you this now. Like, I'm six foot three, and the width of the van is six foot four. So uh, you can only take full advantage of that if you go all the way out to the skin of the mm. van. Uh, so like, you know, I still, I made these nooks, but I still mm. need to trim them up and stuff. And yeah. there's only like a half inch of insulation behind the, the piece of wood that's right here. And then I've got one on this side as well. Okay. 
and that way I can sleep lengthwise. Mm -hmm. So you just sleep like just right here, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, basically. Or like <laughs> Unless you're diagonal, probably. Yeah, I like I surprise myself every time I wake up. Like, mm -hmm. I never know where I'm gonna end up on the bed. But recently, I've mostly just ended up like totally horizontal right here in the nook. But I used to when I first started in the van, like my head was always in that corner, feet over here. Mm -hmm. um, now that never happens. Then. I've got three overhead cabinets. This one uh, I have to push over here to make, otherwise it gets blocked. But, okay. <laughs> uh, you can see like the arc where yeah. I, I, I scratched. <laughs> but I got a toaster um, mm -hmm. and like poorly organized uh, stuff up there. But stuff. And this one I've got a uh, guitar and some jackets and like my wow guitar. Yeah, and, and then. Uh, the window cover. Uh -huh. The little insulations for the windows. Yeah, I, I only use it when I'm in places uh, like Red Rocks where I'm just like hanging out in the van a lot in places where I'm not supposed to. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, like, like two hooks I'm always using to hang my clothing. Yeah, those are, hooks are essential. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, then I've got a pump and stuff for my water. I'll let it turn on. I had this idea that I still am probably uh, going to use eventually, but I wired this little button up that I was going to mount this door like right at my knee level. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you the intent of it, not that I've ever used it because it's still like, you know, not mounted. Mm -hmm. But the idea is I've got two switches in the van, one's for the lights and then the other switch is for this pump. So now like the pump doesn't turn on, but this thing would bypass it. So like I, the idea being like I could do dishes more efficiently because I've got an accumulator tank and stuff, but I don't know. In practice, I just end up like, you know, running the water really slowly. And I think maybe that switch was like unnecessary. Mm -hmm. I could just take it off at some point. It seemed like a good idea. Yeah. I think it would be a better idea if I didn't have the accumulator tank. That way I could like, you know, press that thing and water would come out instantly and then stop as soon as my uh, knee came off of it. I uh, recently took my first outdoor shower by just turning this thing around. Oh yeah. And, um, I didn't think I was ever gonna use that. And I have. I have this other idea for a shower that I think is probably never gonna happen. But um, I blow this cutting board. I've got this like collapsible bucket that I thought I could like put inside here. You know, like mm -hmm. this thing opens up and stuff. So you would just stand in that bucket? Yeah, and... And like I've got um, ma magnets that would, uh, oh. you know, connect a shower curtain to the ceiling and stuff. Very cool. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. I think maybe I'm just wasting space here. Uh, yeah. So. You just never know until you start living in it and practicing. Yeah. I just think... don't know what you're going to need. Um, yeah, not really. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'll let you know. Maybe like I'll... <laughs> post a comment on this video in a year yeah. or two. Yeah, give us an update. <laughs> yeah. The biggest mistake that I made building out the van, you probably saw like me dragging. I, uh, I left like zero clearance okay. when I made these. Mm -hmm. So now uh, like whenever I pull these out, like it drags. Oh yeah. It's a huge, huge blunder. And one of those things where like, by the time you figure out what you've done, you're it's like- It's too late. Yeah, cause like I can't make these any skinnier cause the rails are, yeah. you know, right. are out there. And so I would have to do so much work to mm -hmm. fix this. Exactly. The easiest solution I can think of is just to plane down this mm -hmm. door and just make it like, it's right now three quarters of an inch, make it like half an inch. Yeah. And I think I'll be okay. There you go. Um, but that's just on my long list of, of to do's. <laughs> yeah. Closing that one and this one I've got um, computer and camera gear and stuff. What about the microwave? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Made a mistake. The I can show you the electronics and stuff. Um, I'll have to pull out some stuff in the back in a minute. But um, the microwave, I undersized the circuit breaker that uh, feeds the inverter. And just thinking this thing only pulled 700 watts when really it pulls 1200. So now I have to uh, turn on my van in order to like bypass that circuit breaker a little bit um, just to run the, the microwave. But I use it all the time. We just made popcorn a minute ago, yeah. and I burnt it. And now there's a burn mark in there. Right. Gotta there. get the burn mark. Yeah. yeah, right there. That's a fresh burn mark. <laughs> Sorry. It's my fault. That's no, all good. It's my fault. Um, I got my blanket with my dog's 
uh, face on it. Oh, that's your dog. That's my dog. That's Klaus. Oh. <laughs> Out of my life. Nice. Unless you have any questions, you can go in the back. Do you mind saying like how much you spent on it? Everything? Sure. Vans are hard to find, or they were hard to find in January when I was looking. So like I called probably a hundred dealerships around the country. I was in uh, Las Vegas at the time and uh, every single one of them wanted either like $10,000 over MSRP or had some like ridiculous wait time. And so I got really lucky. I found one van in uh, North Carolina that was like, yeah, we'll sell this to you. And I remember thinking to myself, like, I don't know if I want a red van. Like, I don't want to stand out, you know? <laughs> but I was like, I I'm done calling places. So I gave him a $1,000 deposit right then. And uh, when I went to go pick it up, like, I had to fly to North Carolina. They told me that a few people had tried, uh, had called about it, but said they didn't want it because of the color. And then, like, it was directly after I called them, they called back and said, actually, we'll take it. So I'd, like, just squeaked in. It was the only place that was, like, not... Uh, you know, trying to take advantage of the, the demand issue. How much I pay? I think out the door is like 44000 roughly for the shell, somewhere around there. And then uh, as far as the amount of money I pumped into it, around 10000 but I never added it all up. You know, electronics was a lot. I've got four solar panels on top. Um, there's two fans. All that stuff adds up pretty quick. Uh, and then a big battery. You just have like a propane stove here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the propane tank, don't do this. Like, this isn't <laughs> safe. But I just have a propane tank in there. That, All right, uh, don't do that. Yeah, I, I have to turn it off uh, once I finish cooking because there's like a slow leak somewhere. I can't smell it anymore, but other people can. Oh dear. So like, hopefully, you know, if my van explodes from stupidity, okay. like, it, oh, it's not an insurance thing. Um, let's see. And then the fridge. Is oh yeah. Anything cool about that or? Uh, not, I mean, it's just like about it. It's like a regular dorm fridge. You know, it's got a freezer yeah. and stuff. Oh, that's a big freezer. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, nothing really like special about it. I, yeah. I had, so this is my second van. Um, yeah. My first van, I had one of those Dometic ones. I, I had like a space where I pulled it out into mm -hmm. the middle of the van and lifted it up the top. This is like a thousand times better. I, Not digging through something. Yeah. Like, I, digging things out. Yeah, like what, what type do you have in your van? I, I mean, it's like that. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's yeah. the way to go. Yeah, I didn't want to have something to dig through yeah. like you're saying also this is like 250 bucks roughly oh, wow. um wow. those dometic ones are like 800 or something yeah so like just buy an extra solar panel mm -hmm. you know and like, you're good mm -hmm. so how many watts do you have total in your solar panels 400 watts 400 total yeah okay. um then the battery's uh 300 amp hour okay um and the inverter's 2000 which i probably could have gotten away with 1500 i don't think i'm ever gonna like i don't even think the wiring could handle the um, 2000 watts like, okay. so yeah I have only done this like in theory I've never actually done it so. you haven't like, this is your first time doing this, this is my first time oh my gosh <laughs> like a big part of design well, I hope I it works it's theory not practice yet <laughs> yeah measurement-wise. <laughs> You're seeing for the first time, will it work? How tall are you? High five. If anybody's gonna fit, it'll be you. Should I try it out? Yeah, I'll, take, I'll be cameraman. Okay. I'll even give you a pillow. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you're gonna fit. All right, yeah, hell yeah. It's so comfy. Oh wait, and the seat, the seat slides back too, so you can get a little bit oh, more. Oh yeah, that'll be perfect. Get a few more inches, but you're good. Comfy, good job. All right, <laughs> awesome. So glad it works. Me too. I've never been short enough to try it myself. You can only have short guests over. Yeah, but you've inspired me. I'm, I'm gonna move that uh, chair back and I'm gonna go get the tape measure and find out exactly how tall the person can fit. Yeah, the seat is all the way back now. All right, we got somebody who is five foot four inches, theoretically, can sleep here. Okay, that's an inch shorter than me. <laughs> now I know. All right. <laughs> I got a surprise in here. Ooh, a surprise. I'm one of the few uh, vans on the 3D printer. <laughs> oh, the, okay. I thought the box was a focal point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Second box. Okay. Um, I, uh, this box is a focal point. 
like I was an engineer before and um, like I aspire to be one again and while I'm on the road so mm -hmm. like I've got some projects that I'm tinkering with that I, I kind of needed to have a 3d printer for Very um, cool. on this side uh, you can see I got my bike and the front wheels right here and then a bunch of climbing gear I've got a uh, paraglider big paraglider small paraglider climbing ropes climbing bag I, I mostly climb there's a climbing um, um, crash pad mm -hmm. there um, and uh, behind the climbing crash pad is all my electronics I'll just pull it out so you can see it okay. I know everybody loves to see electronics of so. course so, so 300 amp hour battery, 30 amp uh, solar charger from Victron, and a 30 amp uh, alternator charger. Then uh, I've got the fuse box for everything. I actually, uh, this is something kind of, I, I don't know if I recommend that people do this, but I did it. Um, I used my fuse box as my uh, switch for the um, the two chargers that are in there. So I just have like a 40 amp fuse that both of those chargers are running through on the fuse box. And it just kind of runs backwards through the fuse box into the battery. And um, I can show you the app. Do you have the Victron set up in yours? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I have that app. Just being able to see right now, I'm at 100%. Mm -hmm. The bottom thing down there is my amplifier for my uh, sound system. And you got your golf clubs. Yeah, just the, the two most necessary ones. So mm. I go to the driving range and stuff. Very cool. Yeah, and then like three boxes of tools. Mm -hmm. uh, Two boxes. Yeah, I guess there's four boxes of tools. So I've got like drills and some power tools and stuff that okay. I thought might be useful. Should I print something? <laughs> yeah, you need to print something. <laughs> print a tiny van. <laughs> Do you have it insulated? My theory with insulation is my first van wasn't insulated well enough. So I started off by putting the higher density foam stuff, just like the regular foam board that you can get from like Home Depot or Lowe's. I get that into like as many of the big uh, compartments as I possibly could before moving into the um, softer like, not, um, I use the uh, 3M insulate stuff. You can kind of mm -hmm. see it sticking out here. Yeah. Like this is a, an example of a spot where since it like changes thickness a lot, mm -hmm. um, it was really hard to uh, think about how I was going to get like a, a piece of foam here because it had to get down to uh, this thickness down there. Um, but here you can see that there's actually like a half inch foam board behind this piece. Mm -hmm. um, so basically I, I use like in the walls here there's almost three inches of foam board in, in the thickest spots and um, everywhere around it there's the 3M Thinslate stuff. This is another spot where like I couldn't get foam board, so I just used the hand sand Thinslate over and over. But yeah, yeah, I can't think of what it's called. Um, the roof or the ceiling, um, I've got about an inch and a quarter everywhere, um, and even where the wood uh, ceiling attaches to the ribs, between the wood and the ribs, I still have a quarter inch of. Uh, this stuff. Okay. Uh, it's like, what you call it? Kind of uh, foam board, or yeah, exactly. Okay. And I'm the van is basically the same height as I am, so the floor and the ceiling um, have, you know, like I'm I'm basically when I'm standing in there, touching my head on the ceiling, mm -hmm. and I wanted to be able to stand up straight. Mm -hmm. So it's a van built built for a tall person. Um, that's why on the floor I've got between a half inch and a quarter inch of insulation underneath the uh, half inch flooring. And then um, on the ceiling, I basically like, am, I've got like rib, quarter inch of insulation, then quarter inch paneling. But yeah, everywhere else it's like uh, insulated to the max. Um, part of the reason I don't have windows anywhere is because I wanted to be better insulated than my first van because I, uh, yeah, when it's cold. Especially like my first van, um, you know, on those cold days, just having dew form, like in, in all the, oh yeah, like where the ribs attach and stuff. Yeah, you can see like the condensation. Yeah, and, and you're just like, how many years can that go on before it starts to get moldy and gross and stuff? Yeah. So I, like, I definitely, um, 
you know, I've already tested this thing out in the winter because I built it in the winter and it is like so, so, so much better than the first one. Very solid. I don't know much about the rams. Mm -hmm. Like, is it the medium height or tallest or? Uh, this one is the shortest one. Uh, the shortest one of the tall ones. Okay. So, so it's one of the tallest height and the shortest length. Yes. It's 136 inch wheelbase. You can tell that you're looking at a uh, 136 inch wheelbase, uh, like short version, because the, the rail that the door slides on goes almost all the way to the end of the van. Okay. On all the other ones, like there's still like that much van mm -hmm. behind. But my first van was a um, Sprinter Extended. Uh, it was like the 172 inch wheelbase, I think. Um, and it was just so long, like it, it driving around the city was such a pain and parking and stuff is always a pain yep. this thing's basically like the same length as a Tacoma mm -hmm. and uh, it's like I wouldn't go back like maybe if I had a family I would go back you know but yeah. when it's just me in here yeah um, thank you for showing us around your van Eric appreciate showing you yeah <laughs> thanks uh, for oh, making do, me famous <laughs> do you do you want to add your um, social media like where people can follow you on your journey or I don't really have anything it. going on at the moment okay um, no worries. I'll, maybe if I do I'll ask you to put it in the, the description or something okay we can check back later where are we Jackson Jackson <laughs>